Hi there, I'm Ken. I've been writing short stories now for about seven years. The first one I wrote was for my great-granddaughter, Ruby. Since then I've written mm, 60, 70 stories and uh, each of them have the name of the person all the way through the story. All these stories, or most of them, are on my YouTube video site, uh, Kenneth Mallison. That's this one here, Kenneth Mallison. If you're interested, you can look at those. This particular story is called uh, Ella and the Magic Paintbrush. It's not really my story, it's an adaptation of a story written a couple of thousand years ago in ancient China. The Chinese wrote lots of stories called fables, I suppose. Uh, and modern, most modern fairy stories are based on them. For example, Red Riding Hood is based on a Chinese fable about a panther. Not a wolf, a panther. In that, I believe in that one, the panther ate everybody, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, most stories are based on the fables. Mine is based on this Chinese fable called The Magic Paintbrush, and mine is called Ella and The Magic Paintbrush. So let's go ahead and I'll read it to you. Ella and The Magic Paintbrush a story by Ken Mallison, really an adaptation of an old Chinese fairy story. Ella lived with her mother in one small bedroom in a very drab house in a very drab street in London. Ella's real name was Eliza, but everyone called her Ella except her mum. They were very poor and sometimes had nothing to eat. The room had very little furniture and Ella did not even have a bed. She had to sleep on a bed of straw. Because they were so poor, Ella could not go to school. So she found maths and English very difficult. However, like most children, Ella had a special talent. Her talent was drawing. And Ella was very good at this. Ella loved to draw, but she had no pencils or brushes to use. So she drew pictures in the dirt with a stick. Sometimes, when Ella went for a walk, she passed a house where she could see several boys sitting at easels and painting pictures. Once she looked into the room, but the man teaching them shouted at her, saying, get away you dirty girl, this is only for rich people. Ella was very upset and it made her cry as she ran home. When Ella got home, she was sitting outside her house drawing pictures in the dirt when a lady came up to her and said, that's a very good drawing you've done. Why don't you paint it on paper? Ella told her that she did not have any paper or brushes as they could not afford them. When she heard this, the lady took a paintbrush from her bag and gave it to Ella. She said, here, take this. It is a magic paintbrush. When you paint something, it will become real. But you must only paint things you need, not what you want. Now, there are some things you cannot paint. Ella turned to ask the lady what she meant. But the lady had disappeared. Ella thought, <laughs> that's stupid, but uh, do a paintbrush now, what I need is some paints and some paper. Ella used the brush to draw a box of paints in the dirt. And suddenly there it was, a real box of paints. She was amazed to see this and realised that it was the magic paintbrush. Ella thought, what I need now is some paper and she drew a large piece of paper in the dirt. Once again, the drawing turned into real paper. Ella was very excited and rushed in to tell her mother. She said, Mum, a lady gave me this paintbrush and it's magic. Anything I paint with becomes real. 
her mum said, don't be silly, Elisa, you can't make things like that. To show she was telling the truth, Ella painted a small bed on the piece of paper, and in a flash, a real bed stood where Ella's pile of straw had been. It was hard to believe, but her mother knew that Ella was telling the truth. Ella used the magic papers to paint some more furniture for the room. Then she tried to paint some money for her mother. But this time it didn't work. Then Ella remembered what the lady had said. There was something which could not be made. Money was one of these. Ella didn't mind. At least they had a comfortable room. The next day Ella was walking over the street when she saw a poor man sitting at the side. He only had one leg and looked very unhappy. Ella decided to paint a new leg for him and painted the leg on her paper. Once again though, it did not work. So Ella realised she couldn't paint live things. Instead she painted the false leg and this time it worked. When Ella gave him the leg, the man was overjoyed and thanked her. Ella was very happy that she had been able to help the poor man. When Ella got back to the small room she lived in, she looked round and thought, I wonder if I could paint a house for me and mum. She sat down and started to paint, painting a small cottage in the countryside with flowers in a small garden. As soon as Ella had finished painting, she looked around and saw they really were in the cottage. Her mum hugged her and said, Eliza, this is wonderful. We can be happy here. They were happy. Her mum got a small job in a nearby farm and they had enough money for all their needs. If they needed anything else, Ella could paint it. Each day, Ella would go for a walk in the nearby fields and sit down to do some painting with real brushes, not the magic brush. One day she decided to try a magic brush again and paint a pretty rose, a rose bush, and a real rose bush appeared. A rich man was passing by on his horse and saw what Ella had done. He thought, that's magic. If she could paint a rose bush, she could paint money for me. I'll soon be the richest man in town. He grabbed Ella, threw her across his horse and galloped away to his home. When he reached his house, he ordered Ella to paint him a pot of gold. Ella refused and he locked her in a room with only one window. The window had bars across it so she could not escape and it was very cold. The man said, I will keep you here without food until you paint me some gold. When he went away, Ella was very hungry, so she painted a sandwich and a fire to keep her warm. Then she painted a new window and a rope ladder to climb down. Ella quickly escaped and ran home. The next morning, the man came to open the door, but Ella had painted a big bar across it so he could not get in. He banged angry at the door and then ran at the door to break it in. The door crashed open and he saw that Ella had escaped. As he ran over to the window, he knocked over the fire. The building soon caught fire and the house and the man were destroyed. When Ella got home, she thought about where she'd been taken to. It was a very large mansion and she had thought it to be lovely. Ella decided she would like to live in a mansion like that. I'll paint one, she said. Ella began to paint and soon she had painted a grand mansion. But as soon as she had finished, it disappeared. Ella wondered why that had happened. Then she remembered what the lady had said. Paint only what you need, not what you want. She realised she did not need the mansion, as she already had a nice home. After that, Ella did not use the magic paper as much, but her paintings, painted with real brushes, were very popular, and she was able to sell them. Ella and her mum lived very happily in a small cottage, had everything they needed. The end.
Well, there we are. That's my version of the magic paintbrush called Ella and the magic paintbrush. I guess the moral for this video is happiness is having everything you need, not everything you want. If you like the video, please look at my other videos on Kenneth Mallison on my YouTube site. So bye for now.